Hello and welcome to season two, season two of the power of healing your energy show. This show is all about your unconditional love, your light, your intuition and your soul's purpose and uh, depression and anxiety and feeling stuck. All of that is a side effect of not living intuitively, not trusting our gut and the lost connections with our higher self and others. So let's go higher and feel deeper. I'm Christine, if you don't know who I am. <laughs> I'm a spiritual medium, intuitive energy coach and old soul healer. And today we're gonna have a little bit of fun. We are gonna talk about um, the full corn moon in dreamy Pisces. We're gonna have a meditation, gonna have a ritual, we're gonna do some clearings. We might pull a few cards. There might be some mediumship going on here. It really just depends on, you know, who shows up, what you're looking for. And yes, uh, please share this out, tag some friends, um, say hello, even if you're on the replay, maybe you have a question. But the whole premise of this show is to share. Um, I am a student of the universe. I've been saying this for years and uh, we're all here to learn and grow and ascend collectively, collectively. Um, and as Gabby Bernstein, she just released a book called, uh, you know, I am guru. Basically, we're our own gurus. Yeah, we are. So <laughs> let's let's channel that. All right. So just give me a sec. I am actually going to be sharing this out too. And uh, one day I will have an assistant. Yes, I will. So I don't have to do this stuff and you guys don't have to wait for me. But anyways, so please be patient. I am just sharing this out and uh, let me know what's going on. And hi, Gitte. Yes. Hello again. I was on earlier today. Uh, if you don't know, I'm doing a 21 days to a magical you. It's uh, every day we come on, we learn something. And at the end of 21 days, there's going to be a shift. Uh, there's going to be some changes in maybe your perception, maybe your thoughts, maybe mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, heck, maybe even financially. Um, it's beautiful. Right now we are at the most abundant uh, time of our lives. And if you don't feel that way, then definitely drop me a line and <laughs> let's figure this out together, right? So yeah, it's, it, it, there's, I mean, very windy the last couple days. And, you know, that just, we talk about wind and wind is really good to clear things out, clear things away. And I'm putting my phone away. Here we go. <laughs> and we're, we're shedding, you know, old beliefs, old patterns, um, people, places, things, uh, our relationships are changing. Um, just everything around us is changing and shifting. Um, talked about, you know, going back to school, learning new things, you know, at a crossroads, basically, uh, movement, relocation. Um, uh, gosh, there's a car, there's a karmic uh, with the dark entities. I talked about that as well. Uh, go to YouTube. I did a September energy update uh, forecast as well. So there's some interesting stuff in there <laughs> and just create a lot of creativity, uh, your intuition, is heightened psychic mediumship because we all are healers. We all are light workers. I've been saying that for years as well. So yeah, welcome everyone. This is episode one. And um, as well, we're also working with uh, this week. I do a weekly energy update. Uh, check that out on YouTube if you like or Facebook mainly, but it's also through Anchor. Um, uh, as a podcast, if you'd rather listen. So, you know, protection, we're working with the black tourmaline protection. So really focusing on the mind, body, spirit connection, protecting and cleansing and clearing and our aura, our auric field, our energy centers, protection, <sighs> healer. This is this new might is the stone for the healers. So this is a great uh, accompaniment to black tourmaline 
as well. But you, I mean, you can use other stones. Um, there's of course black tourmaline, but um, maybe you like shungite. Shungite is is pretty amazing as well. And then the the empowerment piece. We we are empowering ourselves. I mean, uh, us as empaths. We're not living in that victim mentality anymore because we really are becoming empowered and finding out that being sensitive is beautiful. And we just, you got to work it. <laughs> you got to own it. You got to feel it. You got to release it. That's important. Before I came on here, I went outside. I mean, I almost got blown away. Uh, good thing I've got, you know, some extra, I got some good weight on me here, but it is very windy. And along the way, I picked up, well, there were quite a few feathers. I collect feathers. I don't know if anybody else does, but I found two that are very identical and then white one. White one is spirit. The black and white ones um, talks about uh, uh, shifts and duality. And so I'm combining it with, I've got a ton. You can see I kind of collect them and put them together. And it's part of my smudging, my ritual, you know, the, the clearings that I do. So if that's something you're interested in, go for it, have fun. Um, you can use a turkey feather. There's, there's lots of different feathers you can use, whatever you're drawn to. So the more grounding elements you can bring into the house, the better, like rocks. And can you see the lines in this rock? It's very cool. I love and the color, it's got purples. It, it's interesting, it's got a double double wrap on it and then it goes the other way. So I see that as, you know, every, energy is, is the same way. It moves and intersections and wraps itself around. And yeah, that was my trip to uh, BC. And then I, you know, we picked up lots of stones. There were just, this one's very pretty. There's a lot of gold in it, like when you wet it down and they're very smooth picked up some tree bark <laughs> and then I, I thought this is like the most perfect acorn. So just, or pine cone, sorry that, yeah, this is so beautiful. Um, so bringing in those grounding elements, 2020 is all about the root chakra, safety, security, money, finances. Um, it, it pertains to everything. How are you are safe? You are grounded. Everything is working in your favor right now. You just have to know, feel, know and feel, know and feel, and have faith, have faith, and trust, trust the process always, 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 always. All right, well, say hello, and uh, what exactly are you looking for here? Um, we're gonna do, we're gonna start with the, the full moon ritual. I'm, there's quite, there's a few people here. So let me know when you guys are ready to start. And yeah, beautiful nature. Exactly, Gitte, beautiful nature. Nature is nurture. Nature, um, I said this before, but nature doesn't need us. Nature knows how to take care of itself. Uh, many times we interfere, but we work together. It always seems to balance itself out at the same time. So that's a beautiful piece as well. All right. So, yeah. And at the end of this clearing, uh, if you're looking for, like, maybe you have a question, maybe you have something on your mind, I invite you to, you know, think about uh, what you're looking for. And as we go through the clearing and the ritual, um, there will be, Reiki will be sent. Uh, there is no distance, just like Wi-Fi works. It's the same thing. It's the intention. And uh, we'll just clear any energies, any attachments, any hooks, anything that does not serve your energetic auric body we are going to clear away we're going to tune up um, the meridian centers the energy centers the chakras um, i also invite you as part of the practice bring maybe a pen and, and some scrap paper and write down things that you're no longer wanting in your life and burn, we're going to burn them together make sure you have a safe burning container i know this is a tin can but you know what it works use what works I mean, I have my abalone shell, but you know, it's full of material already. So um, I'm just trying to do everything safe. We don't want to start any fires. <laughs> All right. 
Okay. Rhea is saying she's looking for some guidance. She purchased her first smudge wand, white sage and lavender blend. Yeah, that's beautiful. Um, sage is definitely uh, to clear and lavender will assist with the, the clearing process, but it'll also uh, raise your vibrations just like, you know, I have some lavender too, but Palo Santo, any, anything, um, you know, anything you'd like to use. Put your intention in it. Um, you can you can put prayers uh, in with it. You can ask your guides, angels, and loved ones to come in and assist you uh, to clear. Um, it's really a sacred practice, and it's uniquely yours. But you can take bits and pieces from mine. It's all good, and uh, then go from there. And Gitte is asking, she'd like to know how to let go of some negative cords I still have to an ex-spiritual teacher. Oh gosh, okay, well, um, we'll work on that. Yeah, there's, def there's definitely an attachment. I just, I just heard you are energetically attached. Um, just letting go. Uh, yeah, we'll work on that, but I'm bringing that to the table as well. I will keep you in mind as we go along. And we are going to start, um, of course, if you have a candle or maybe incense you'd like to burn. That is a way to invite spirit. It's like a signal, like knock, knock, hi, we're ready to go. That's how I start all of my practices with the candle because that's part of the the ritual, the ceremony. All right. So I just invite you to relax, uh, close your eyes if you'd like. You can lay down. You do not have to be sitting up uh, necessarily. And just think about the things you want to release. And at the end, we'll write them down and then we'll burn them away. We will burn them away. All right. So just take a few centering deep breaths in and out. And starting with the lovely Buddha bowl, we're just going to clear this. And there is no right, there is no wrong way of a ritual, a prayer, a blessing, an invocation. If you put your heart into it, that's all that matters. And spirit will guide you, will guide you. Your heart will guide you. So just play with it, play and have fun. Play and have fun. Be like a child when you come to it. This is not so serious <laughs> as uh, the Joker would say. Um, I mean, he had some, some insight in there with the smile, the perma smile in a way. All right, so we're just clearing this and setting this up. And just imagine coming from your base chakra, your root chakra, a thick, brilliant white cord. And imagine the cord shooting down your legs and out your feet. The cord smashes through the floor and plunges deep into the earth smashing through the dirt, tree roots, rocks, and debris until it reaches the center of the earth. Here, there is a giant rose quartz that is suspended in the middle of the earth. Your cord tightly wraps itself around the rose quartz and begins to shoot back up the way that it came until it reaches just to the soles of your feet and gently grounds and stabilizes you to the earth center. You are now grounded. Now we're gonna take that beautiful pink or white, that beautiful white light from, from the earth and start bringing it up through your feet, through your calves, through your knees, Special attention to the knees, as there is a lot of fear tends to sit in the knees. So we're going to release that right now. You are so supported. Uh, that's what I'm hearing. 
You are so supported. You are so divinely loved, so divinely nurtured, so divinely abundant. At a 360 degree level, all angles, all sides, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually, and financially. So we're gonna take that energy and draw it up through your thighs. Coming around to the back, uh, the lower, lower back, the sacrum area, the sacral, the root, and the energy is intertwining up through the solar plexus. And actually I feel that it, in the solar plexus area that there's a gap, there's a, a disconnect between the solar and the heart chakra. So we're just going to clear that off. And, and honestly, I feel that's where that cord is. It, it's really taking a, uh, energy away from you, um, your I am presence, your peace of mind. So we're going to put fill those gaps up with that beautiful rose quartz energy because that is compassion. That is forgiveness. That is unconditional love. And knowing that you are worthy of everything and more. You are unlimited. You are unfailing. You are trusting. I'm hearing that as well. Trust. Trust. Just go with that feeling. So we're clearing that off. We're bringing this up to the throat chakra. <clears throat> yeah, there's still a lot of, um, I'm hearing some, uh, be very careful how you talk to yourself. Because what you, whatever you think and whatever you speak will manifest. That's how this works. So speak to yourself like you love yourself. Like you, you, this is your child. Speak to you, speak to yourself like you have a child. Like if you had a daughter or a son, would you talk to yourself that way? Absolutely not. So we're going to clear that off as well. Moving up to the third eye, bringing up all of that beautiful pink, white light, pink light energy up, clearing the third eye up through the crown. The crown, the crown is your chi, is your, your beautiful divine light. We're going to anchor that up through the divine, connected to Father, Mother, God, the Holy Spirit. We release any attachments, any emotions, any cords, anything that is not ours. I ask Archangel Michael to come in and assist us with his golden sword. Just imagine this sword coming through and cutting any cords, anything that does not serve you at this time. And we're sending all of that back to them with love, light, and forgiveness for them and forgiveness for ourselves. And we release that. We actually take off the shackles. We shackled ourselves. We're letting go of this. This is not, this is not who we are. This is not our story. Time to write a new one. Well, what's your chapter going to start with? I love you. <laughs> I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. That's that Hapono Nono prayer. I also have a video on that as well, if you're interested. Yeah, so we are just clearing off. And you are, you've always been good. You were born perfectly, perfect child of God. Look upon yourself with tender compassion and love. All right, 
so I'm sealing both of this grounded energy, this beautiful light energy connected to the heart center. We're raising that up. We're living from the throat, the third eye and the crown chakra, but we're always rooted and divinely supported by Mother Earth, by Gaia. All right, so I'm just coming back now. So we did a little clearing. So if anybody comes on afterwards, this works for anybody else uh, that shows up, even on the replay. Let me know how you feel. If you've noticed anything, um, it might not happen immediately. Maybe you've seen something, felt something, heard something, even smelled something, sometimes taste something. Those are all of your clairs. Uh, the more ways that you can find to relax and to let go and to meditate and to breathe, uh, the more channels you're going to open. And yes, I need a little bit of water for that. <laughs> All right, so we created a sacred space uh, for our full moon. So you guys can think about, you know, what was going on, how you're feeling. If anything came up, maybe you'll let me know offline, privately, feel free to do that, or just keep it to yourself. You may have had just the, you know, tomorrow when you wake up, you might feel totally refreshed. Weights have been lifted off. Um, maybe the best sleep you've ever had. If anything, that's, that's what Reiki does. And anyone can learn it. We are all healers. So I invite you to, um, to try. To try. All right. So we've got our paper. We're going to cleanse uh, this space as well. I know I did a little bit yesterday, but... Uh, Hold on here. We're just going to get the sage going. So you can you can burn along with me if you'd like. And you can do this at nighttime tonight or even last night or, you know, a couple days under the full moon. If you'd like to do it outside and you have a place to burn everything, go for it. I've got some lavender in here as well. And we're just invoking a little prayer. Um, asking for, I mean, we already did this, but for your full moon prayer, you could ask to be divinely guided and shown for your highest good under this full moon. I release anything that does not serve me. I release anything that I've been holding on to. I release any, you know, any attachments, any negativity, anything that does not serve my divine purpose. And I'm burning and clearing all of this away for the highest good, for the highest good, for the highest good and the best good. And the universe has your back, just like God does. Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace, that where there is hatred, I may bring love, that where there is wrong, I may bring the spirit of forgiveness, that where there is discord, I may bring harmony, that where there is error, I may bring truth, that where there is doubt, I may bring faith, that where there is despair, I may bring hope, that where there are shadows, I may bring light, that where there is sadness, I may bring joy. Lord, grant me that I may seek rather to comfort than to be comforted. I'm the comforter. To understand than to be understood that we need to bridge, there, there's a bridge that needs to be built here. To love than be loved, for it is by self-forgetting that one finds, it is by forgiving that one is forgiven, and it is by dying that one awakens to eternal life. You know, when you've heard that term, the dark night of the soul, the ego death, not saying that the ego was bad or there's no good or bad, it was just, it's no longer running the show. I declare, I decree that this is no longer my story and this is no longer who I am. I am starting a new self, a new chapter, just like the butterfly transforms, just like the snake sheds its skin. It's the same idea. Just like the leaves are now turning yellow, that the tree does not worry. Oh my goodness, I won't have any more leaves. 
but they come back. Every year they come back. Do they not? Several times a year. All right, I've got my lavender in here. Boy, this, this uh, sage is just burning like crazy. And now um, the Palo Santo, we are now raising the vibes. Energetically, I am free from any cords, any attachments, any energy that does not serve me in this full corn moon in Pisces. I will, you know, awaken to my dreamy and intuitive self because that's who I am at an energetic level. So, well, you can also breathe in the night air. I also welcome you to bring your crystals and you can charge them under the moonlight if you'd like. But you can also get a clear quartz, clear quartz, or even if you do some smudging, a little bit of Epsom salt will clear and charge your crystals as well. You can make some sacred moon water. Um, and now we're going to write on a few pieces of paper some stuff we are going to release together. What am I releasing? What am I releasing? I am releasing worry. I am releasing doubt. I am releasing, and if that model is still out there, judgment. I mean, anytime we judge someone, it's basically a mirror for us. Anything that's going on in a relationship is a mirror. It's reflecting back. So the, the, the you know, we can figure this out uh, a lot faster. We're going to definitely ascend uh, quicker. All right, so you can take your papers if you want, or you can do this later, but I am burning away worry. It's gone. And you can say this to yourself, but I like to, you know, shout it out. I'm letting go of doubt. No more doubt. Everything is happening in my, in, in the beautiful divine timing. Everything is happening in my favor. I'm not worried and I don't doubt anything. And then judgment. Thy judgment. If I judge others, I'm judging myself. And basically, what, what am I seeing? Like, what is coming up? Why? Is it that imposter syndrome? Is it me not thinking that I'm worthy of, you know, what comes into my life that, oh, I can, maybe I can't hold on to it, or maybe I don't deserve it, or maybe I was told, you know, to have abundance, especially with money. This might be something you heard in, in your family somewhere. This is something that was taught to you or lear you learned that money is, was a negative had a negative connotation to it. Um, it could be that there was never enough. It could be that um, rich people are, are evil or mean or something you know, like, or maybe I just don't deserve it. Like really, why? <laughs> why? Because it's, oh, that one too. It's, I have it, but then it just slips out of my fingers. But you know what? Money is an energy. And just as much as you create it, it's going to cycle back. So I always say I'm abundant in everything I do and everything I touch, even a bill. I say thank you. I do. I say thank you. And I welcome more so I can turn around and serve, serve more. That's the whole premise. All right. So... Yeah, you're welcome. You're, you're still trying to find your way. Of course, we all are. And there is no right. There is no wrong. Um, if you start labeling things that way or good or bad, then the mind has interfered. The ego has interfered and um, you're not being present. Not being present. All right. So we'll let everything burn away. I'm also going to clear a little bit here with... Um, the lavender and Gitty is saying she felt touch and tears, touch and tears. Well, I hope that that helps um, clear some of that attachment. Um, have you, and I just heard, have you written a letter to this person? And you don't have to send it to them, but I'm just hearing something about a letter. So it's like a, you're, you're putting it out on paper and you can keep it or you can burn it away. 
it'd be a beautiful way to release that as well. So I'm just, I've got my Reiki infused. This is a healing lavender spray, easy to make and fun to use. Sometimes I'll spray that on when, before I go into like, well, they don't, there's not big crowds anymore, but just into a public place. That's just me. <laughs> but I do, yeah, it's important for you guys to have some type of grounding or um, white light yourself, white light everything, your computer, your phone, any type of electronics, your home, um, your car well, while you're driving. That's important too, before you go to sleep. It's, it's all connected and not saying that, oh my goodness, those people, it's just, so you're, you're walking around leaving your light, but nothing is, is taking away from it. It's just a, an exchange, right? But you're not taking anything with you because, you know, when we're empaths and we're sensitive, we feel everything. So you don't want things to be pulling away at your auric body, at your auric field. Edgar Casey, um, I, he's a beautiful man. Um, I actually have uh, met him in my dreams. We have a connection. Um, same with Sylvia Brown. Um, I mean, the, and then Atlantis and all this other stuff, but that's a whole nother show. But uh, he is was such an empath and he is known as a sleeping prophet. This guy would do so many readings a day to the point where he basically, um, he didn't take care of himself, even though he talked about self-care all the time, but he didn't do, he didn't practice it because he just wanted to give and give and give. And, and he, he died at an early age because of it. So what do we learn from this? Yes, it's great that you wanna help other people, but don't forget the self-care piece, refilling the cup. Yeah, you empty it and then you refill it. All right. Ruth, tears from the Reiki healing. Releasing is great. Yeah, you're welcome. It is a beautiful, a beautiful thing. Um, and that's, yeah, that's why. Be very careful um, with electronics too, guys. Um, like ground yourself. I don't know about you, but I tend to blow things up, light bulbs, electronics, computers. <laughs> so, um, because we just have that energy going. Um, and that's why I went outside before we did this today, because I had to get all that stuff off of me before I have to come in clear so I can serve you guys. Right. So get a, thank you. Good advice with the letter. Yeah. Just, just write it out. Whatever comes up, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I do that before I do my journal prompts or my gratitude journal. I'll just start writing whatever comes up. And a lot of it is just garbage. And then I'll focus and turn around and say, okay, what am I grateful for today? What did I see today when I woke up? How did I feel today when I woke up? And I just seen a feather floating here at the corner of my eye. <laughs> All right. Um, so what else would you guys like to know? So that is how, um, you know, you, you practice the full moon. I have a tip sheet on the full moon ritual as well if you need that. So we just show gratitude, we thank the spirits, and then, you know, put out the fire if there's any fire. All right, so let me know uh, if you have a question, um, if you're looking to hear from somebody, um, if you could maybe share this out if you haven't done so already. Tag a few friends, and let's see if we can get this party a little bit bigger here. All right. Um, and yeah, and we're, we're going to pull, you know, if you'd like a card, there's an energy deck to pull from. There is a self-care deck to pull from. And then my newest, my newest deck, try and get this out. Jeez. They make the box pretty spectacular. Um, the crystal reading cards, because I've always been drawn to crystals and energy and animals and nature, <laughs> all the sparkly stuff. I mean, who doesn't love sparkly stuff, shiny stuff? So let me know if you'd like a card, um, if you're, uh, 
there there's someone that you that is no longer with us that you'd like to talk to and that includes animals as well so um like when animals come in they usually either sit on my lap or they're by my feet by my feet so and i guess just be specific for you know what you're looking for if you just want general just whatever whatever comes up whatever spirit is uh called to bring up but you know these feathers were um were definitely i've seen so many and i'm not the only one a lot of people have been seeing feathers this week so it's there's a lot of spirit um around and spirit shows up in so many different ways um coins mo moving objects um playing with electricity smells for me i get that like yesterday I was sitting and reading and I smelt um, cologne and there was no one around. <laughs> so I know that that was, there was somebody around, but I also smelt like a hint of caramel. Um, it, it smelt like, uh, you know, when you go to the fair, you can smell that caramel, the candy apple smell. I thought, okay, this is very, this is not for me. This is for somebody else, obviously um so maybe there's something in that as well and uh my dreams um last night there were three grizzly bears in there so we're talking about bear spirit um there was also um i i was watching a lot of animals so i thought that was interesting which i do already so that could be that's obviously for me but it could be for somebody else too but um, the bear spirit guide is basically, it's about the sweetness of life. And you can invoke the bear spirit uh, as their power animal when protection is needed. Strength and confidence are bears taking action and leadership. Bears are very grounding as well. So solitude, quiet, time and rest. And boy, do they love their snacks, right guys? I mean, sometimes I feel like a bear. <laughs> uh, it depends. Like if I haven't eaten, oh, watch out, watch out. I can be a bear. I like my snacks just like a bear does. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, dear Gitte, uh, advice for now on how I move on. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to go back to that gentleman before I forget, but um, the, the place I was staying at, the guy came in and said, um, my father has passed away. And I'm like, okay. And I, I didn't know who he was. So he was telling, so I don't know if this was some, somebody here or someone that's going to show up here where their father has just passed away or father-in-law. So I don't know who this is for, but I'm going to leave it there for now. So at least I, I spoke that out. Yes, Marsha, I see you. I, I will get to you in a moment, but thank you very much. And could you please share, share this out and uh, yeah, share the love, spread it out. Let's go. <laughs> Cause you never know who might need this. All right. Gitte, she would love advice for now, how I move on. Okay. I, I'm being asked to pull um, from the uh, crystal deck card. Crystal card deck, must be a day for getting tongues, tongues tied. All right, so uh, clearing, of course, and we're asking, what does Gitte need to know? What does Gitte need to know for highest good? Uh, there, that was what, two shuffles? Two. I, I just put this card back. <laughs> this is for you, my dear. Sunstone, empowerment empowerment so yes with that i mean we were just talking about the solar plexus we were just talking about that connection from the solar plexus to the heart chakra so when we were doing that clearing uh this is specifically for you um i feel that you're kind of in the background um you're you're they're saying to focus more on just going out and doing it solar plexus so 
draw in the energy of the sun. There is a big transformation coming. Please be patient. Rebirth, frustrations dissolving, higher guidance, strength and courage. And they're talking about self-sabotaging. Are you self-sabotaging yourself? You know so much. You are a wise old soul, my friend. You have so much to share with others. Please start sharing. Reach out. I, I feel like you can start, and I think we talked about this before, a, a women's club, a club for other like-minded women, soul seekers. That's what I'm hearing, soul seekers. You've been sitting on the sidelines. No more. It's time to go. Maybe that bear spirit is for you as well because <laughs> it's about taking action, dissolving any fears. You have the personal power. You're magnificent. Shine. <laughs> I'm talking about this inner critic again. I keep hearing it come up. <sighs> you are good enough. You are so good. You have no idea. I just heard medicine woman, medicine woman. I don't know what that means. Medicines, um, they're saying to play around, play with tinctures, with medicine, with plants, with that type of energy, essential oils or plants too. So I don't know if you're creating something or you're wanting to, or you're looking into it, please, Please do it. Do it. Go for it. I want to see. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for you. All right. We're putting the empowerment card aside. That is Gete's card. And that is your message, my dear. I love you so much. Marsha. Hello, Marsha. Thank you for being here. Today was my last day at work for, wow, 50 years. Holy smokes. That deserves a, a big applause. Wow, 50 years. Would love for you to pull a card. Yeah, let's pull a card for you, my dear. And I'm feeling the energy deck because this, you know, fives are about change. I learned that from my numerology expert <laughs> friend and colleague, uh, Nova Lee Wilder. She's an amazing numerologist. Why am I talking about her? There's something to do with a name change. Look into that. Um, for some reason, they're, they're talking about a name change or maybe always wanting to have a name change because energetically that changes who you are. So really look, I, I welcome you to look into that. Um, not sure why, but that's what they're saying. <laughs> All right. For dear Marsha, what does she need to know? And let us know where you're from, Marsha, as well, because we get folks from all over the world. Like our dear uh, Gitte is from Denmark. All right. We're going to, there we go. We're going to focus on Marsha. What does she need to know? Oh, look at this. Okay, <laughs> we're talking numbers again here. I'm just going to pull down um, your comment so you can see the card without the glare. Cornucopia, 11. 11s are, this is spirit. Spirit is knocking and saying, hello, pay attention. You've got awakenings happening. You've got energy moving. This is a beautiful sign from spirit, angel, guides, and loved ones. Look at the abundance. This reminds me of fall as well, the harvest. You are harvesting. This is a new chapter in your life. Do you see the gold abundance? Do you see all the? And look at that beautiful butterfly. And it could be a fairy as well. Congratulations, wishes fulfilled, great blessings, abundant harvest. Yeah, uh, financial riches, like there, there's a completion here, all of the above. You've done the important work, the seeds you have planted in your energy and in your life is ready to be harvested in a significant way. And we are all, including spirit, applauding your effort. 
Your affirmation is the universe is abundant. All that I desire comes to me in just the right time and way. I am blessed. And so it is. Yes, you are. That's a fantastic card. And congratulations on your new chapter in life, however you decide uh, to use it. And there's something about, uh, I just saw movement. I don't know what that means. Uh, not, not moving per se, but maybe you're moving around more, getting out there in a way, like that's how I feel, like here I am, um, feeling very, very powerful, like you've finally come into your own, this, if that makes sense. that Because I felt, I seen like a, an expansion, that's what I had seen, like this is what spirit is showing me, so expanded, so beautiful, so transformational. I love that. <laughs> and Marsha is from, oh, San Fran, near San Francisco. Beautiful. And November is your birth month, 11 as well. And I mean, yeah, you can look at it as an 11. You can also add it together as a two. And uh, yeah, but obviously 11 is your number. So look into that. Look into that, my dear. And Gite, you're so welcome. Lots of love and blessings. Thank you so much for being such a beautiful support. Um, we appreciate you and Edenshire as well. I know you're there every day. I try to be, but <laughs> it's, it's, I can only, I'm only one person. I got to duplicate myself sometimes. But yeah, much love to you, Marsha. All right. Brianne, please show me what I'm not seeing. I've been having weird dreams recently. I think I'm overlooking something or looking too hard. Hmm. Okay. Oh, Marsha. Uh, yeah, just let me, her name is Nova Lee Wilder. And I'm, yeah, I'm just going to type this in. She actually came from uh, Denmark. I've had her on my show, numerologist. Let's try to spell this right. And, uh, but she now lives in California. So I love her. She's a beautiful soul. You might have to go back through my shows um, through Anchor um, or even through YouTube. You'll find her on there. If you type her name in, uh, find my channel, 24 Karat Healing, and she'll come up. So you can watch that too and learn about your, um, your life number as well. So I know mine's a six. So, all right. Ah, uh, Marsha saying numbers tell me I had to get rid of work due to do what I need to do spiritually. Ah, there we go. <laughs> there you go. I love it. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Okay, Brianne, let's go back. Yes, having weird dreams. You know what? We are all having weird dreams. I had like five and one yesterday and I usually do. Um, that's just the way it goes. So I'm, yeah, drawn to pick up the crystal, crystal deck, crystal reading deck. And for your highest good, what does she need to know? What does she need to know? What does she need to know? There we go. Oh, woo. This one just flew out. I haven't seen this one in a while. I don't think I've ever pulled this one actually. Red Jasper, they're talking about healthy boundaries. Um, that's very important as being an empath. We tend to not have the best boundaries. <laughs> um, and Red Jasper pertains to root chakra as well. And grounding, being more grounded, having healthy boundaries. Yes, it's about rituals for protection purification and facilitate deeper connections to the earth. So um, yeah, getting out of the mind and overthinking uh, and letting go, working on healthy boundaries, connecting to your heart, receive the love of mother nature, inner strength, healing energy up through the body and overcoming a deep seated fear of abandonment. Um, yeah, so 
someone in your life may be taking too much or maybe you're giving too much. So there's a balance in giving and receiving and they're offering you wisdom. You are a generous, loving soul who provides healing and support to many people. And I know you do. So you, you've got to set those boundaries um, and a deep healing on all levels. Hmm. And when we're talking about, um, you know, giving or overthinking, you know, there, you know what, it would be good to just ask and then let it go and see what shows up. Ask your guides, your angels, your loved ones, put it on the altar and then just release it and say, just show me, just show me, but I'm releasing any attachment to it because if I have attachment, then that means I want to control the outcome and spirit and universe doesn't work that way. If they know that you're open to anything and everything, they're going to show you. They're going to be like, okay, we're, we're going to show you and, and we'll see how you're going to respond to this. Yeah, I just felt like there's just been a lot of downloads. Like you're just getting like a lot of ancestral stuff. Why am I laughing? Because um, it just felt very overwhelming in a way. Um, Mm, geez, uh, they're saying they're saying that you're here. You got you got like a big mission, a big purpose. I mean, we all have purpose, but it almost feels like you're running out of time. That's how I feel. And there is there is time is linear. There is no time. It's an illusion. So just play, have fun. Um, don't take it so serious. That's what I'm hearing. And then just say, thank you and show me more and write it down. It's, it's, they're puzzle pieces. We're all part of this big um, 5D puzzle piece <laughs> and it's going to take time, but we have to be patient. And I did pull the patience card earlier today as well. So patience was the overall message for today. So I, I hope that helps you. And when you think then you're not living in your, uh, your presence. So you got to bring it back to center and just let it go. Surrender it and let it go and rinse and repeat, rinse and practice, rinse, repeat, go to things that feel good and really pay attention in the boundaries. When you're around certain people, certain situations, if it doesn't feel good, do the gut check and go, okay, no, and this one, yes. And it's, and no is a complete sentence. I know this for a fact. It took a lot of time to practice that. <laughs> All right. I'm sending lots of love to you. Thank you. Yes. And there's my beautiful friend, Nova Lee Walder. She, uh, she works on a, with a lot of name changes. So yeah. Thank you, Gitte. Love you too. And yes, I will be having a beautiful Epsom salt bath tonight. So can't wait for that. They're going to have to pour me out of that bathtub. Marsha, you are so welcome. And please, you know, let me know what happens. I, keep me updated. I, I always, we're here to cheer you on. We're all cheerleaders. We're all connected. We're all collaborating together. So let's build this community up. All right, uh, Ruth, I did not forget about you. So we're just going to clear that off first. All right, Ruth, Joy, love the, the middle name, Joy. Can't seem to move forward, feel stuck, maybe still healing. Could you please pull a card for me? We're all healing. That's the first thing I hear. Um, and and there is, there is no maybe, there's always stuff that's going to come up. Um, they're saying it's going to take time to undo everything that has happened to us, to us all collectively. There is no easy button because we've been actually operating on, on that 
And that's why we're here. 2020 is about 2020 vision, one eye, all seeing, all knowing. And I'm drawn to the energy deck here. And just asking for your highest good, what does Ruth need to know? What does she need to know? Oh. Okay. Now this, don't be alarmed. This has come in reverse. Victory, two and eight is 10. That reduces to one. Reduces to one. So I'm gonna put it the right side, even though it is in reverse. We all tend to think that, you know, oh my goodness, the card is in reverse. That's terrible news. No, it's not. It means pay attention and heads up. That's all it means. But look at the gold. Look at the swirls, the labyrinth. Look at, this is a gorgeous lady. This is like your inner goddess. This is how I see this card. Inner garden. Goddess through the inner garden. <laughs> inner guidance. So there's a delay or a reversal for a hoped outcome. So it's a personal change. Success may have eluded you for some time, but they're saying you need to restructure things, reevaluate, release a specific outcome. So for me, it seems like there's something going on externally. Remember that peaceful surrender is often the biggest victory of all. So it's letting go of what you think healing looks like and the attachment to it. Your affirmation is you're achieving great things with yourself and in the world. You see yourself as a success in many wonderful ways. Even now, there is so much beauty and truth in healing. Um, I just heard the old wounds. Um, Something to do with family, obviously. Um, I heard the mother. Now I don't know if this is the, the, the feminine archetype, Mother Mary, Mother Magdalene, that type of feminine, beautiful, loving energy, like there was maybe an imbalance somewhere, if that makes sense. That's what I'm hearing. Um, I don't know if that's within the body, like a hormone type, or if this is, I feel like it's dual. It's a family mother archetype, but also tied to hormones. That's what I'm hearing. That is what I'm hearing. I gotta catch up on comments here. Ah, uh, yeah, so, I guess, we, like I said, we get too attached to things and this is going to take time. Forgiveness of others and self. Please do both of that type of work. That's what I'm hearing. Both needs to happen. And one day it's just going to be like, I, I release it all. Like, <laughs> and get ready for the floodgates. That's basically what they're saying. Get ready for the floodgates. Floodgates. It's like this, uh, I see it as a big surge of power um, being transformed, infused back into you, if that makes sense. All right. That is a beautiful card. Either way, gold is the ultimate in healing. That's why, you know, it's called 24 karat healing. <laughs> All right, just in case. Uh, yeah, Marsha, great. I can't wait to see you again. And uh, don't forget, uh, I have a 21 days to magical you. It happens every day until September 20th at 11, 11. See, Marsha, this is why you showed up. 11, 11, Mountain Standard Time. So go to my Facebook page and uh, hit the notifications. So you can join us and every day we're gonna be doing something and then I'm making a draw for, well, one grand prize draw for a mentorship one-on-one -on -one, and then weekly draw for an intuitive healing session with myself. So go check it out. Even, you know, just comment and uh, follow along. All right. 
Yes, Brianne, thank you so much. Very helpful, answered a lot of her questions and she's been holding her red jasper really close to me lately. Hmm. I like my red jasper too, I have one. I have, of course have them all, but um, they're all of, there's, yeah. I've got them very close to me, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yes, thank you, Ruth. Take care of yourself. I hope that was helpful. Uh, Marsha, 1111 is my mother's number who, who has passed. Okay, well, that, that's probably <laughs> who's been here for, well, maybe since yesterday. That's how spirit works, you know, with... I'm going into a reading with someone, the dreams, the spirit starts to show up a couple days before. It's like they know. Um, I have orbs all around me. I have dragon energy. So, and animal spirit as well. Lots of animal spirit. So I think I wanna do a, a show as well, bringing your animals uh, with you. So both of you can be healed at the same time. I actually know someone in Australia that does this. He's a veterinarian. I'm no, not a doctor by trade, but obviously, but um, I, you know, the pet sitting that I do, the pet Reiki I do, it's an energetic exchange between the owner and the pet. And a lot of times the stuff that we are going through, it gets carried on to our pets and it manifests as disease sometimes. And so if we can clear both, awesome. So, and animals are unconditional love. They'll do anything for you, right? Unlike us humans, you know, there's always a some type of an attachment or, well, you owe me or whatever it is, right? So, <laughs> yeah, wow. Okay, so the 11, she, she showed up big time for you, Marsha. That's beautiful. Awesome. I love it. All right. And uh, let me know if you have any other questions. If you want to reach out to me privately afterwards, I mean, go for it. I also have, I don't have this listed here. That's wild. Um, I have a complimentary um, 15 minute intuitive call. So if maybe you're curious and want to learn more, feel free to reach out. I will share that. Where is it? Here it is. <laughs> yeah, so that's where you can book a call uh, with me. You can uh, do that through Facebook as well. If you'd like to book a session, there's my website. And yeah, the, this uh, intuitive session, uh, that a weekly prize is through the 21 days. Don't forget about that. But you have to follow along. You have to follow the rules. Otherwise, you won't be entered. And one more thing. There is the Unleash Your Magic. It's an intuitive mentorship one-on-one. -on -one. I also have a group of eight, Power of Eight. And I need to update this. There are only seven spots left out of the ten. So... And it starts September 21st. And you also, there's an early bonus savings of $60 if you sign up before the 7th of September. And basically by the end of the, the four weeks, you're gonna open up most of your clairs, if not all of them, and be highly intuitive. Basically know, you know, what you've already been highly intuitive, but developing all your gifts and finding out your, your purpose in life, right? That's why we're here, that's our job. So, all right guys, uh, if I don't see any other questions, I am going to say goodbye and please share this out to your friends. If you know of someone uh, that would, you know, that you follow that would be an amazing guest on my show, send them my way as well. I welcome all collaborations and you know what? I, I had an amazing time. I want you to enjoy the full moon. Don't be scared of it. This is, we're channeling the energy. We are all highly tied to the moon because we are all highly intuitive, right? All right. All right, guys. I want to send you so much love, so much light. And please remember, healing begins where the ego ends. Take care. Love you.